Hey, what's going on guys? T-Rex here with another unboxing video. I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 11 Pro Max Midnight Green. Now, you may have seen my 11 video and already you can notice the difference between the Pro Max and the 11, the extra camera and the ways they're set up. Now you see nothing different on the box, but I don't know. It's interesting that with such a dark phone to have on a dark black background, you'd think with the bright red, maybe you'd have that on the dark black background to really make it pop and look better, while having the dark colored phone on the white background to make it look better. But let's open it, see what it looks like. As always, just got this simple pull tab, plastic comes right off, and there we have it. And unveiling of it, opening of it, and that's not quite as dark as I thought it would be. Might be a bit of a darker green, but I actually will probably have this color growing in quite a bit. It's a very nice metallic back, almost kind of a matte compared to the glossy red. And then put the phone aside. You'll see anything interesting in here. It looks like it's just the standard iPhone stuff. Ah, so this one unfolds. The other one, you simply just had another side to it. But, hmm, I'll have to look into that later. And then you got SIM card key. Guessing these are some safety tips and stuff if you have never owned the iPhone. And then you have got your iPhone stickers. So then, as per usual, oh, wow, okay. That is interesting. It is a new kind of charging brick. Now, iPhone 11 came with just the regular one. So I'm wondering then what this port's gonna look like at your standard Apple headphones. And this one actually comes with, I think it is a, wow, oh, yeah, it's interesting. So I guess this is made to fit into the newer Macs and stuff so you can connect your phone. But still got just the lightning cable. And that is the contents of the box. Next, we will look over the phone itself, and also maybe a bit of the software stuff. Alright, now I'm back. So, a bit of cleanup, and got the iPhone 11 Pro Max right here. And already you can tell, three cameras. Flash is set at the top instead of on the side. Obviously, but what I like about this feels a bit heavier than the regular iPhone 11. And the screen, obviously bigger. Let's power on and see what it does. So, it's the regular Apple logo. And we are going to have, I'm guessing, the usual setup, yes. So, I will be back in a minute. Alright, so we got everything set up, and for this, I'm just going to quickly put that in. And we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, everything seems to be the same as the 11. All the same apps downloaded. One thing I want to check on the camera so oh interesting let's access my location uh, all out while using the app only 
So same thing as the 11, the new capture outside the frame, and the new shutter button. So, got your one focus, and then you've got your two, then you've got the point five, which is a bit further of a shot, giving you more distance, which I actually really like, that is really nice. But other than that, you've just got your run-of-the-mill video, slow-mo, and time-lapse. And then for photos, regular photo, portrait, and your pano, which pano actually also comes with the point five, which is very interesting. Huh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.